everyone. So today I decided to do a weekly vlog rather than just travel vlogs. Um, so comment below if this is something you guys want to keep continue to see. Um, yeah, so today I just got ready, did my hair and makeup. I am about to walk my dog to his appointment. Um, he was in Atlanta for seven weeks with my parents. They were taking care of him and um, obviously his hair grew and he looks like one little ball of fluff. So we're going to bring him to his appointment. He's going to get groomed. And after that, I have a appointment at a laser clinic because I wanted a consultation because I have a few questions when it comes to scar removal. Um, as some of you know, I got a breast augmentation in 2018, March, I think. Yes. And um, unfortunately, it left me with big scars and i bruise easily so i knew this was gonna happen so now i just want to see what my options are the reason why i'm only doing it now is because i was a little scared i know it can hurt and whatnot but my scar is like so thick that it almost looks like a keloid scar so i'm gonna see what they say um obviously it's something no one will say but me but when i wear a bikini i sometimes get really self-conscious so yeah i want to try and fix it Ready. Oh, it's so nice out. It's hot. So when my dog was in Atlanta, you would barely walk. You would literally put him on the grass. He would do his business and he would go back off. So this is his before. Very fluffy. Say hi to all your fans, Charlie. So I just dropped my dog. I am about to meet up with Kylie and head over to Yorkville. I thought you were ready for this. No. All right, so we are on our way. I'll show you guys Kylie, but she's being shy right now. So maybe later. <laughs> some of the questions that I had. Um, so basically I showed her my scar and it's not keloid. That's what I thought at first. It's called a hypertrophic scar. She's a so, nurse, that's why. Yeah, and so we Googled it so that we have like an actual like answer of what that is. Basically, it's just a thickened, wide, often raised scar that develops where skin is injured. It's an ab abnormal response to like a surgical procedure. Like a scar should normally heal like flat and like the same color as your skin, whereas hers is healed like kind of bumpy and it's like reddened. So. And every person heals different. Um, I've had friends who did the exact same treatment and they came out of it perfect. Yeah. Every yeah, everyone's different. Like everybody's like body reacts differently. I don't scar that much. So her suggestion was um, for the bumping to go down to get, what's it called? Um, it's a corticosteroid injection. I think it was called Catalog. It's um, like a, a micro needle that they put on the, the uneven areas and it goes down within, she said 72 hours, but it could also take up to two weeks. And you need three sessions for that. She said that was around $150 per session. And then once all of that has gone down, um, you get, there's two two treatments that you can do. Yeah, Fraxel. 
Um, that one was eight hundred and twenty dollars for three sessions. But she suggested three to six. Yeah, and that one's a laser, so she said that one works because it works like deeper on the scar. And then the other option was micro needling, which is like more superficial and less um, painful because they're not putting less pain on it and less expensive. But came out to six seventy five. So I'm probably going to look into other clinics and see if there's any um, price differences and what they suggest because I just want a second opinion. Um, but I'm most likely going to do it. But she did say that it was a process. So if you do get the, the free treatment for the scarring, it can take up to four weeks. Even. Oh no, you do it. You do one treatment every two or four weeks. So depending on how many you get, it can take quite a while. Honestly, the entire process is like expensive, like more expensive than I thought it would be. And I feel like anytime you're removing a scar, like it's not going to be gone completely. So like. No, and I honestly thought it was a way quicker procedure. I did not think it was going to take a few months. Like, yeah. I was actually thinking about going away next month and having no scars, but that's not how it works, unfortunately. And also, one of Cheyenne's like concerns is that she has like darkened skin like on her scar, um, like redness. And one of the side effects of the Fraxel is that it causes like uh, hyperpigmentation, so it's going to cause the skin to get darker, which is kind of like counterproductive when that's already what she's trying to get rid of. So like that's a side effect to like keep in mind too. Apparently it's not permanent, but for at least she said, was it like, she was like the entire process of it, which is like months apart, you're gonna see redness. So keep that in mind. My main concern was for the bumpiness to go down. The color is not as important. I just wanted to be flat, so. Yeah, I'll, if I do it, I, I'll definitely film the process of it and what I did exactly and what I paid in total. But I'll keep you guys updated. Well, Nurse Kaisen, thank you for coming. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Charlie! Hi! He's so pretty! Charlie! Good job! <laughs> So I'm back at the house and I ended up going to um, another clinic which is called Edelstein Cosmetics and that's the clinic where I did my breast augmentation about a year ago. Um, so I actually had some concerns about the implants that I did just because I had read about this article that said that certain implants weren't um, FDA approved. So I was just worried that it was the one that I got. So I went in and I asked them questions about the gummy bear implants that I did have and um, luckily those are 100% safe and those were not the ones that weren't FDA approved. So we're clear on that, but since I've had so many referrals uh, sent to them for breast augmentations, I decided that I should just do my, um, my laser there. So I actually asked them um, for, for their advice and what their prices would be. However, they couldn't tell me the exact prices because they would obviously have to look at your scars and assess um, from there on. However, they did say that one treatment would be about a few hundred dollars. Um, so their solution for now was, um, so I got this silicone scar reduction sheet. Um, basically what it does is you put it on the part of your body that has a scar. Um, it's washable, reusable, you cut it in the shape of your scar, you put it on and you leave it on for months at a time. Um, so yeah, we're, I'm gonna see if this works or not. This is definitely a good option before I spend thousands of dollars for this laser surgery. So, so I'll keep you guys posted and let you know if it works or not.